What's up guys? Um, so today is gonna be a sprint day, speed work type day, and agility, working on some uh, lateral agility and some linear sprinting, so straight up and down. I'm trying to work on my technique a little bit. Uh, eventually I do wanna time my 40, also see what I get on the broad jump, vertical jump, kind of like the NFL Combine, 225 pound bench press, L drill, um, which is an agility and speed drill, and then um, 510-5 drill, which is pretty much lin uh, lateral agility and quickness. Um, so today you'll see a little bit of uh, me doing some lateral agility and some sprinting, and also some dynamic effort, um, speed work with uh, bands, on the um, squat and on the bench. I might even try a max attempt, uh, attempt effort on bench also. Just seeing where I'm at, hit 330 about two weeks ago, which is a PR for me. And I feel stronger now, so maybe 335, perhaps 340, that'd be awesome. But we're gonna see, got a new fresh haircut from the wife, hope you enjoy. So the first thing I started with was um, just running through the uh, hurdles, working on technique, just linear uh, speed technique, trying to get my uh, coordination of my arms and knees coordinated together, trying to be the most powerful I can. Then I, uh, I switched it up to two feet in each area. I didn't have my ladder today, so I used uh, the hurdles as a um, substitute. So I'm just working on technique here. Um, then I'm going to try to trans translate this into uh, actual sprinting. Then I'm working a little bit of technique um, for uh, lateral agility, driving that front leg up, trying to keep that back leg coming up, and I'm also working on my arm movement with it so I can um, be as fast as possible and not lose any um, speed or energy, okay? Um, that was just a little bit of a quick side to side. Now I'm gonna do a three hurdle drill, going side to side, working on lateral agility, and then I'm gonna um, explode out as fast as I can into a full out sprint, about a 75 to 80% sprint. Come back around, same thing, just going the opposite way. Um, working on getting in and out of the spaces as quick and as fast as possible. I'm cutting as hard as I can, and then a little sprint. Working on technique there too. After that, as you can see, um, I'm doing sprints. Uh, this is a lean in sprint. I'm leaning out and then as you can see it's zooming in. I'm leaning and as soon as I feel like I'm going to hit the ground that's when I explode out. Driving that front foot forward, opposite arm, opposite leg and here I am. I, my technique starts off pretty well and then I start to um, my head starts with Bob, that's what I noticed. All right, so this is how you determine what your power foot is. It's the, the foot that you land on when you're just getting pushed from behind or when you're, um, you know, trying to fall. So my lead foot, my powerful foot is my right foot. So this is for the two point staggered stance um, start. So I'm gonna put my right foot, um, touch my left heel and then move it out about hips width. Hips width. Then I'm gonna, um, Look forward, drop my hips down about a 45 degree angle, create that power position. Um, so whatever knees forward, that's my left. My right arm cocks up. I'm gonna lean a little bit forward and then I'm gonna explode out. That's how you start your, um, your two point staggered um, stance sprint. Same thing, uh, right foot to left heel. Looking straight forward, drop my hips, hips at a 45 degree angle, lean forward and explode out. All right, so this is what I'm gonna be doing, two point staggered stance sprints. Uh, same setup and I explode out as fast as I can. Pretty pretty decent sprint. Uh, what I noticed is I have some hip, fle hip flexibility so my feet don't stay completely straight the whole time, which, you know, obviously you're dumping some torque, some power if you're not, you know, keeping your feet straight the whole time. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty, pretty fast. Same thing. And I think I kind of overdid it to there. You can see my head bobbing a little bit there. But anyways, on to the lifting session. This is um, my dynamic effort lifting. So um, I'm doing submaximal weight 
pausing at the bottom and trying to explode that weight up as fast as I can with uh, with bands. So I got 265, which is about 60% uh, of my max. Using bands, pausing for a second, and then bam, I'm up, trying to really throw that weight through the roof. This is for, um, you know, overall overall power. You know, if you're an athlete, this is what you should be doing. Um, then I uh, go to heavy RDLs, which is also athletic. Um, you have to RDL before you do a, a clean. So um, this hits your glutes pretty hard and um, high hamstrings. So this is 315 for three reps, and I'm not even using any wrist straps. I'm using a hook grip, which uh, most Olympic lifters use. And then I uh, go right into uh, 345 with the hook grip to be a, a max, three rep max um, without straps. So, you know, always working on grip because grip helps you with any type of sport you play, regardless of what, you know, sport it is. Um, then I, uh, then you can see the wrist straps on my hand. This is 375 for an RDL. So basically I'm just taking the grip out of the equation and I'm using my hamstrings and glutes to uh, move the weight up and down, okay? So you can see I'm pushing my legs out or pushing my hips back keeping that barbell close and as soon as I hit those knees I'm I'm doing a hip thrust it, basically I'm squeezing my hamstrings and glutes as hard as I can so that's for um, you know posterior chain power after that uh, I go to uh, bench press and I try to get a three rep max at uh, 315 uh, the first two went pretty well you can see this guy in the back staring at me it's kind of funny uh, one two pretty good and third one um, I think I might have got it but um you know, I was kind of iffy in the middle, so. And then uh, I did dynamic effort bench press, very similar to the squat, but um, I did it with uh, 225, which is about 60% of my max, 70%, and I'm, I'm exploding as hard as I can through the roof, that getting that weight off. You can see the bands are uh, on the uh, barbell also, the little black bands. Um, this is this is the same thing, same concept. Force times mass, or force times, well, Force equals mass time acceleration. So the faster you move weights, the, uh, the more heavy weights you can move. So that's kind of the concept behind that. Um, so here's the training session review, what I did. Um, hope you enjoyed it. You know, it was another athletic type training. Be on the lookout for uh, day seven, which will be coming out tomorrow. Thanks for uh, watching.